Yellowstone National Park is more than just a stunning wilderness. It is a ticking time bomb. Beneath its scenic beauty lies one of the largest active supervolcanoes in the world. If Yellowstone were to erupt again, the consequences could be catastrophic, not only for the United States, but for the entire globe. Yet, despite the danger lurking beneath, Yellowstone continues to attract millions of tourists each year, drawn by the park's iconic geysers, thermal springs and wildlife. So, let's understand the history of this nature's marvel. Origins of Yellowstone Yellowstone's volcanic story began around 17 million years ago, when the North American plate drifted over a stationary mantle plume, a column of hot, molten rock rising from deep within the Earth's mantle. As the tectonic plate moved, the plume melted through the crust, creating a series of volcanic fields that trace the movement of the plate like a fiery breadcrumb trail. Today, the Yellowstone hotspot lies beneath the Yellowstone Plateau, where it fuels the largest volcanic system on the continent, Yellowstone's eruptions. Throughout its history, Yellowstone has erupted multiple times, with three massive caldera-forming eruptions. These events fundamentally reshape the landscape, spewing ash across the continent and creating vast calderas where the Earth's crust collapsed into the empty magma chambers below. Huckleberry Ridge eruption, 2.1 million years ago. This was the largest eruption, ejecting 2,450 cubic kilometers of ash and rock. It formed a caldera roughly 75 kilometers wide and covered much of what is now the Western United States with ash. Mesa Falls eruption, 1.3 million years ago. Smaller than the Huckleberry Ridge event, the Mesa Falls eruption still unleashed 280 cubic kilometers of volcanic material, leaving behind a 16 kilometer wide caldera, Lava Creek eruption, 640,000 years ago. This eruption formed the modern Yellowstone caldera, ejecting 1,000 cubic kilometers of material. Ash from this event has been found as far away as Louisiana. Aside from these massive explosions, Yellowstone has experienced dozens of smaller eruptions, most recently around 70,000 years ago, when lava flows covered parts of the caldera floor. How the world was impacted by Yellowstone's fury each of these massive eruptions had far-reaching consequences. The Huckleberry Ridge event is believed to have drastically affected global climate, with ash clouds blocking out the sun and cooling the planet. Volcanic winters caused by these eruptions likely disrupted ecosystems, leading to mass extinctions. The Lava Creek eruption, for example, could have caused significant cooling affecting the early human populations trying to survive in a changing world. The ash from these eruptions also had more immediate effects, covering much of North America in a thick layer of volcanic debris. Crops would have failed, rivers would have been clogged with ash, and the air would have been nearly unbreathable for those unlucky enough to be caught in the ashfall zone. The discovery of Yellowstone and early research. Despite its dangerous history, Yellowstone wasn't recognized for the volcanic monster it is until much later. In fact, early explorers who ventured into the region in the early 19th century had no idea they were standing on top of a supervolcano. It wasn't until 1872 that President Ulysses S. Grant signed the bill establishing Yellowstone as the first national park in the world. This was largely due to its natural beauty, including its geysers, thermal pools, and waterfalls, not its volcanic activity. In the early 20th century, scientists began to recognize Yellowstone's volcanic past. The discovery of the massive caldera and its connection to the volcanic eruptions of the past raised alarms among geologists. Research into Yellowstone's geothermal features, such as its famous geysers, provided insights into the volcanic activity below. But it wasn't until the development of modern monitoring technology that scientists truly began to understand the scale of the threat posed by Yellowstone. In the 1960s, scientists studying the park's geothermal activity discovered that the entire Yellowstone region was slowly rising, a phenomenon known as ground uplift. This was caused by the swelling of the magma chamber beneath the park, 
indicating that magma was accumulating and that the system remained active. In the following decades, seismic activity and further ground deformation suggested that the supervolcano was far from dormant. The tourism. Despite its dangerous reputation, Yellowstone is one of the most visited national parks in the United States, attracting around 4 million visitors annually. Tourists flock to the park to witness its stunning geothermal features such as Old Faithful, which erupts with clockwork regularity, and the Grand Prismatic Spring, the largest hot spring in the United States, famous for its vibrant colours. While most visitors are unaware of the volcanic danger beneath their feet, the park's scientists are acutely aware. Seismographs and other monitoring tools are constantly in place, tracking every minor tremor, ground deformation and hydrothermal change that could indicate volcanic activity. These tools provide vital data that could give early warning of a potential eruption, though predicting the exact timing of such an event remains extremely difficult. Scientific developments and continuous research. Yellowstone's volcanic system is one of the most closely studied in the world. Researchers from the US Geological Survey and other institutions continue to monitor the park's geothermal and seismic activity, using cutting-edge technology to peer deep into the magma chamber beneath the caldera. These studies have revealed that the magma chamber is much larger than previously thought, holding enough molten material to fill the Grand Canyon several times over. In 2014, a study revealed that there is a second, even larger magma reservoir located below the previously known chamber. This discovery heightened concerns about the potential size of a future eruption, as the interconnected magma systems could fuel an even larger explosion than previously anticipated. Yellowstone is also a site of intense geothermal research. The park's hydrothermal features provide valuable insights into the processes occurring beneath the surface, helping scientists understand the intricate relationship between magma, water and the Earth's crust. These studies not only help in predicting volcanic activity, but also contribute to broader research in geothermal energy and the role of volcanism in shaping the planet's climate. Will Yellowstone erupt again? The question on everyone's mind is, while the supervolcano is overdue by some estimates, given the rough cycle of eruptions every 600,000 to 800,000 years. Scientists caution that an eruption is not necessarily imminent. While the magma chamber is slowly inflating, there are currently no signs that an eruption is imminent. Volcanic systems can remain active for millions of years without erupting, and predicting the exact timing of such events is extremely difficult. However, if Yellowstone were to erupt, the effects would be catastrophic. The explosion would likely be thousands of times more powerful than the Mount St. Helens eruption, spreading ash across much of the United States and potentially around the world. The immediate effects would include massive ashfall, the collapse of infrastructure and the disruption of air travel. Long-term consequences could include global cooling, as ash and sulfur dioxide particles reflect sunlight away from the Earth, triggering a volcanic winter. The damage to agriculture would be immense, with crops failing across the Midwest due to ashfall, and the economic impact would be felt globally. Some scientists estimate that the aftermath of a Yellowstone eruption could last for years, if not decades, as the world struggles to recover from the environmental and economic damage. Yellowstone National Park is a place of stunning beauty and immense danger. Beneath its serene landscapes lies one of the world's most powerful supervolcanoes, unleashing destruction on a scale humanity has never witnessed. Hope you like this video. If so, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our further history videos and check out the video popping in the screen to explore more.